she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. If I help, I expect to get paid. I was gonna pay you on caps, but why don't we make you <laughs> Sounds low. You're a businessman, right? You can do better. Okay. 150 caps. Stop lowballing me. Put some real money on the table. I'm not here to haggle. You'll get whatever I feel like giving you. Got it. Now what's it gonna be? Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet. Then some more. Then a lot more. Now he's in debt. That's horrible. Jet? What's, What's Jet? Jet? That's my top seller. Gives you a high like you wouldn't believe. My customers swear it makes things faster. Always take off before a flight. So I guess Patrick was looking to get them under his mama's skirt. Be like the tough guys. So we bought some. And once you're on it, why stop? Now I've sold that boy a lot of my Jet. And I expect someone to make good on his promises that I get. Hmm. They should pay. You're a scumbag. You're both wrong. Let's call him a scumbag. Scumbag? You made him an addict. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Look, look. He wanted a product. I sold him a product. And I expect to get paid for my product. Now you gonna help us out or what? I'll talk to Trudy. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. Appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Yeah. Well, oh, you're the one that killed me. I'm gonna kill you in a minute. Be patient. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Why? What's, What's this, this all about? about? Oh, that Ken Busher didn't tell you? He got my boy hooked on Jet. Sold him a ton of junk on credit. And now he expects me to pay him off. That bastard ain't getting a single damn cap from me. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that Jet selling scumbag. Hmm. Wolfgang and I had a deal. If I'm gonna back out on it, I'll need more. I'm not playing this game, Scatter. A hundred caps or nothing. Just tough. But I don't like drugs, so I'm gonna have to go with Trudy. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. Oh, you son of a bitch. I heard that. You just heard my freaking dog. I told you I was going to kill you in a minute. Oh, you are so next. Fucking bitch. Ooh, metal right arm. Thanks. Um, is that normal? Excuse me. Oh, I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Thank you. You got things covered for here? Yeah. It's going to take my son a while to get off the cams, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? 
No, no thanks. No. Damn. yourself up best way to get rid of uh, addiction okay on my way back to Diamond City see now that's why I like games like this such as like the division uh, small events can actually happen before you actually get to your actual objective like for instance The Walking Dead which is my absolute favorite show right now like they're uh, when they were on their way to when they were on their way to terminus like small events kept on happening and that's just what I like instead of taking like a shortcut such, such as driving like you don't get that experience or you don't get you know just see those events happening and it doesn't change you so when you're actually taking your time and you're walking and you're traveling um, like these small events will actually happen and you just get experience and I don't know, it kind of creates a little story for yourself. So that's why I kind of like these kind of games. Now, when uh, Strength Stuff actually introduced Fallout 3 to me, like, it was just, I don't know, I wasn't really into the slow-paced uh, games like Fallout. But ever since then, like, it just, I've been hooked right onto it, so. And then when another buddy of mine, unfortunately we don't talk as much as we used to. Actually, I haven't talked to him in about a year. Um, he introduced me into The Division, and I've been so excited since The Division. Um, since I saw the trailer for The Division. Fire support. Oh, I know this quest. So clearly someone is actually under fire. I'm going to go see and help him out. If you guys actually hear that, like, that's awesome. You can actually hear gunfire in the distance. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going to start switching to my shotgun. Where is it? There it is. Oh, shit. Oh my god, there's actually so many ghouls here. Oh my god, look how many there are! Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh, I freaking hate ghouls. They scare the living piss out of me every freaking time.
Yes. Oh. Let's go rescue those guys. After I scavenge for more people. Alright, it seems like the gunfire is actually getting louder. Alright, seems like he had everything under control. Oh! Faster. Me too. You son of a bitch. How about the guy that's right in front of me, game? Because holy shit, that was a lot of freaking ghouls. Give me a second, big guy. Oven mitt? What? Alright, I think that's enough. Nope, still more. Alright, I think that's enough. Hi. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. What's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charge in and engage those ferals, I find that a bit different. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra... 